Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to gravity, the invisible force. Now, I will let you know this is going to be a reveal video of the trick, not how to actually build it. That will come later. But I'm just going to show you my thinking and how it worked. You are going to need a few gaffs and gimmicks. The box is gimmicked. And then you've got two jokers in the box, which are both gimmicked. Um, this joker is in fact a queen of spades, a normal queen of spades, but this joker is blank. But this joker has got a couple of magnets in it and the queen has roughing balm on it. That is so, I can remove this joker seemingly as one card, take it and put it in the box. I know you've got a bit of a thickness issue, but my camera is about 10 inches away from my hand. In the real world, no one is ever this close, so don't worry about a thickness issue. This is in fact three cards thick, this particular card. What's gonna happen with this one is, you're gonna seemingly place the joker into the box, but when you remove this card, you will be removing the queen and the joker will be stuck in the box with the magnets. Obviously you can see something in there, but in the real world, you're just gonna tip this card out, maybe turn the box away from spectator, but they can see there's no other colored card in there and it will be the queen. So that is that step. You've got this mag magnetic joker, roughing balm on this card, so it will stay stuck to this one. You have then got the actual gravity gimmick itself. Now, the reason I'm not going to do a, a reveal on the build yet, I built this quite a while ago and I've got to build a few more just to remind myself how I did it and speed up the whole process. So this is in fact the gravity forcing gimmick. The gimmick is hiding on the back. You will probably see it in certain angles. Where is the gimmick? The gimmick is right here. It will force the queen of spades, but Gaffer's put his very, very own super, what am I talking about? Load of crap. My love of balloons, because it's got a spring loaded hinge on it, so it will pull itself closed. So what happens is you're going to get your spectator to shuffle. In fact, this card will be in the deck. And now I put this card upside down because the orientation I know is this way. Right, I'm just going to remove the other joker, spin it out, you can show this front and back. Now that this is two cards thick, so be careful on the thickness, but like I say, this is eight inches away. You can put this down, they won't see the back. And then you're going to spread the cards like this, and you're going to take your joker and you're going to run it through like this. And you're going to seemingly slide it in and show them this card. But what you're going to do while you're doing all this, it's easy just to catch your finger on here, open it up run this through, show them the queen of spades. When you pull this out, it will close. You can show front and back. They saw you put the joker in the box, but it's going to be the queen. So how I work out the trick is I'm gonna have this joker first, followed by the gravity gimmick joker. All goes into the box. Right, let me just show you an incredible card trick. You're gonna love it. Dump everything out. Don't bother closing up the box because you're gonna shove a card in here in a minute. And you're just gonna say, like, we're just gonna take out the two jokers. This joker we can put in the box. That's your magnetic one. Get rid of that joker. But the second joker we want. A lot of card tricks, you remove the jokers. So, you know, shouldn't be suspicious. And the other joker, we're gonna use this joker. I'm gonna use this in a minute. Spectator will shuffle. Right, I'm gonna fan the cards out and I'm gonna take this card, the Joker, and I'm gonna run this through. As you're saying this, you're gonna open the flap up, run it through and wherever you say stop is your card. I'm gonna show you your card. You stopped on the queen of spades. You're gonna turn it away like this, pull this card out, the flap will close. You can show front and back. Um, you can do anything you want. I did deal through the cards, but you could do anything you want to say that your card has now travelled from the deck to the box. But we did put the joker in the box. You can now freely just tip this card out, maybe quickly flash, turn it away. 
and show them that the card in the box is in fact the Queen and not the Joker. So that is the gimmick guys. It's on the balloon spring-loaded flap. Now you can see a little bit of bumpiness here, but in the real world when you're, I don't know how far away you're gonna be, two or three foot away from somebody, they're gonna quickly see the Queen of Spades and they will notice nothing. This is a bit of a tricky build. Well, it's not that tricky, but it does involve splitting a couple of cards, otherwise this would be too thick and it would be protruding here a little bit. So you do have to split a couple of layers off. That's, it's just fiddly, it's fiddly, that's all it is. So that's how I did it guys. This is basically just a joker with a blank card and a couple of magnets. Now the magnets are in the top, so it holds the top close to this. So it holds it close flush to this, so it, it's a little bit more invisible. Um, do remember to take the Queen of Spades out of this deck. I don't know whether I did, or I think that is the Queen of Spades out of this deck. Here it is. So that's how I did the Gravity Invisible Force card trick. Comment, subscribe, like guys, and I'll try and get this build video out over Christmas if I can. Like I say, I've got to try and build a few more just to get the, uh, the speed of the video down a little bit and to remember how to do it, you know, smoothly. So comment, subscribe, like guys, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.